stupidest argument I've ever had to try and explain as to what's the problem here. And the problem is people are comparing this Call of Duty to Halo. Halo has never been a Call of Duty game. It's never had kill streaks. It's never had knifing. It's never had um, prone. It's never had... Um, what else? What does it never have? It's, uh, um, uh, uh, it's never always had aiming down the sights. It's only ironic that Halo 5 has aimed down the sights. And really, I don't really think it really is aimed down the sights in Halo 5. I think it's just more of accurate, more hip firing than it is for just actual aiming down the sights. I mean, sure, the battle rifle and the DMR definitely aim down sights, but like things like the assault rifle and the SMG and stuff like that, I don't think they're really shooting like you know first person i think they're mostly enhancing the hip fire just to make it much more accurate for you to kill and the thing is people are are saying this game is so, so much like halo just because there's ships flying into the fucking sky if that's the case every fucking video game that was ever futuristic that means mass effect uh call of duty halo um what else has had ships that fly um i'm, 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 I'm trying to think right now uh titanfall uh, let's see what other games I have. A bunch of them. Um, I'm trying to think what other games have ships in them. Uh, Crisis. Uh, Crisis 2, Crisis 3. I can go on all day. I can probably figure out how many more games have ships in it that fly. But the thing is, it doesn't matter because nobody's going to compare any of those other games to this one. The only game they want to just fucking compare is Halo because it's the most futuristic game that actually has a good fucking campaign. Not to say that Call of Duty doesn't have good campaigns, because it does. It's just the campaigns always have the same thing. They always start out with a happy ending of you introduced to your character. A really big mission as soon as you get done with training. After the huge mission, you find yourself in a crisis. The world finds itself in a hangover of war, murder, and just people dying. Next thing you know, you are introduced to a new ally who it tends to maybe be a betrayal. And if it's not that guy, it's usually another guy that's always been offside to be betraying you. And at the end of it, you guys go hunting down for him. And then he, he becomes the main boss. And then you chase him down. And after you chase him down, you take him down. And then you fucking dramatically, in slow motion, with either a knife, a gun, or your fists, kill the guy slowly, in a slow fashion where the music literally starts going, and you kill him. That's it. And then the game ends with a cliffhanger, like all Call of Duties usually have. And the thing is, people argue with me said that no, they aren't the same. They don't end the same. Yes, they do. I could play all the Call of Duties that I have, and each one of them have ended with a slow-mo or dramatic ending, with a cliffhanger at the very end of it. And the thing is, they, they're trying to compare Halo to Call of Duty. Okay, you know what game it really should be, uh, re you know, really similar to? Who people should really say that it looks a lot like? You want to know what it is? Why is nobody thinking that Destiny ha is not even similar to this? I mean, have you seen the game and who it was created by? Not only did Bungie and Activision help- Look, look, look at that! Activision! Activision helped make Destiny. And the thing is, that was who made this game too! Activision's always been the, pe the people to be behind the screen besides Treyarch games like Black Ops 1, 2, and 3 and World at War. But besides all that, other games of Call of Duty have always had Activision on it somewhere. And the thing is, People don't understand that this game is going to take place in the solar system. If you didn't see in some of the cutscenes, it shows Saturn next to another planet. Which it might have been that you probably end up on one of Saturn's moons. Maybe you end up on... Yeah, that's actually probably what it is. You probably end up on one of Saturn's moons. You probably go to Venus. You probably go to Mars because those solar system, the solar system that the, that the planets are on that are going to be taking place in this Call of Duty look very, very similar to the ones in our actual solar system. And the thing is, people are comparing this Call of Duty to Halo. Halo doesn't exist in just our solar system. It doesn't even exist in just our galaxy. It goes beyond our galaxy in the Milky Way. And people think that th just because it has spaceships, it's Halo. Any game can have spaceships. But you know, no one's going to compare those. This has spaceships. Why isn't anybody comparing it to that? This is exactly like Call of Duty. Exactly like Call of Duty because of the, the aiming down sights and the fact that it was made by the same people who've been making Call of Duty. People who made Halo were helping making this game. Sure, yeah. But the thing is, 
No one wants to try to compare it to this game. Oh no, they want to compare it to a game that everybody hates. And that's another thing. People who are trying to compare it to Halo obviously have not played it enough to understand what is similar between Call of Duty and Halo. And the thing is that pisses me off because recently somebody had told me that Halo is gay. And the thing is I asked them, what's wrong with homosexuals? And they tried to say Halo. And then for the argument kept getting worse, and I had to explain why Call of Duty was the most underrated, overselled game series of the century. While Halo doesn't take a whole two months, or even just a month, to have the next Call of Duty made, Halo takes a whole year to develop and design until the next year of at E3, where they finally announce it. We don't fucking throw it out there as soon as the last one's already done, because that's literally what happens every time Call of Duty comes out with a new Call of Duty. They make another one, and it's so fucking stupid. I cannot stress how stupid people are literally being trying to compare Call of Duty to Halo, but the thing is, they are not comparing it to something that's just this is just right. Seriously, this is, is so similar to Infinite Warfare because it goes in the solar system. That's where this Call of Duty is taking place. It's taking place in our solar system. If you didn't really see half the planets that it was taking place on, it's taking place on a moon next to Saturn. Seriously, how are people this naive and this stupid to think that this is exactly like Halo when Halo doesn't exist in our solar system? It exists beyond our rims of our solar system and our galaxy. That pisses me off. But uh, if you agree with anything I've said, Go ahead and leave a like. If you disagree with anything I said, explain your thought nicely and calmly, please. Respect me, respect others' comments as well, and explain why you disagree. So just leave it in the comments below. Tell me why you disagree. Tell me why you agree. And that's it. And let's try and make let's try and make a little debate as to like why Call of Duty should be or shouldn't be made as much as it should be. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry that it's been so long. But I had to make this video just because, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll hopefully see you guys later. Bye-bye.